What's going on everybody? I got another video for you guys. This next video is on the MTA New Flyer Excelsior Articulated Transit Bus. Um, for all you people who don't know, MTA, as you see, is the transit authority that runs out of New York City. I myself is I'm from New York City. I've rode on MTA many times. Um, MTA also runs the subway, which is the train system. So pretty much they run all the mass transit in New York City. So again, iconic replicas and awesome diecast did a replica of one of their buses. So I'm going to, of course, show you the box first. As you see, MTA, New York City bus, New Flyer Excelsior, Articulated Transit Bus, 187 scale, limited edition. It seemed like they put that on all their boxes, but iconic replicas, of course, those are the people who make, made and designed the bus. Let's look at the top. Looks like they have an old school bus. Maybe that's an old... Let's see, it says it right here. Fifth Avenue Coach, French, Dionon, Bolton, Double Decker, Omnibus, Sirica, 1985. So, I don't I don't know anything about that bus, but they maybe that was from New York City. Because it says Fifth Avenue Coach, which is a street in New York City. So, maybe this is how the buses looked back in the day before MTA came around. And as you see, this is a new Fly Excelsior. This is actually the new paint style that they're going with. Uh, as you see, this is the older, original, all white with the blue stripe. But um, this is the paint job that they're going to now. And I believe Awesome Diecast and Iconic Replicas actually have a model with this um, paint scheme on it. Matter of fact, I'm sure of it. I just don't have it. So as you see on the side, pretty much same stuff over and over again, telling you who made it. MTA bus has the, uh, what kind of bus it is, limited edition. Same thing on the side. And on the back, look like the old New York City skyline that looked like this picture was taken when the Freedom Tower was being rebuilt it's complete as of right now. Of course, that's the Statue of Liberty. And it looks like to give you a brief description of the MTA itself and, you know, how they got started. But, you know, you can read that yourself if you get the bus. And as always, they give the legal information on the bottom about, you know, the MTA bus and uh, New Flyer giving Iconic Replicas the permission to make this model. Of course, the box is a lot bigger because this is a bigger bus. Like I said in a previous video where I was comparing the scale, this is modeled after a 60 foot bus. Most, I would say most uh, transit buses are usually around 40 feet long. Some of them have 35, some 30, but, uh, a lot of them are 40 feet long, and this one is what you would call an articulated bus. The reason they call that is because it articulates, it bends in the middle, because this bus is way too long to just drive straight and make turns like this. So it has to bend in the middle. Uh, a lot of people that I know, they used to call it the caterpillar bus because it kind of looks like a caterpillar the way it, it bends and stuff like, you know, like a caterpillar. But again, they did a wonderful job. I mean, they they don't miss anything with uh, Iconic Replicas. I mean, all the markings are on there. Even got the American flag. A lot of the MTA buses have the American flag in the back two windows. Got your vents right there. Destination sign with the unit number. The New York City uh, license plate. And it has all the markings that you would see on the actual bus. I mean, it's self-explanatory. I mean, destination sign. This bus is the BX1 Limited. 
license plate. Has the air conditioning units on the top. I mean, this thing pretty much is um uh, is on point. This is exactly how the bus looks in real life. Now, I know the first question you asked me, does this bus actually bend? Well, the answer is yes, but not by much. As you see, it does bend. And I mean, what else could you ask for? I mean, you can't expect it to totally articulate like the real bus. I mean, that that will be asking for a bit much, but um, it does bend though. But not much. They even went as far as putting the unit number on the top. That's how they have it on the real buses. Uh, I remember many days I lived on the fourth floor in my apartment. And you could see the buses driving by. And I could look down on the bus. So they definitely had the numbers on it just like that. So um, they even went as far as put the little exhaust pipe on the top. I don't know if you can see that. So... I don't think they miss anything. I'm not really a transit guy myself, but I bought this bus because of the memories that I had living in New York City. And unfortunately, when the Celsius came out, I was actually out of New York City already. So I never had the opportunity to ride this actual bus, but they actually had new flyer 60 foot um, articulated buses when I was there, but it was the older version. So I rode those before. Uh, I lived in the Bronx. I used to ride the 55 bus and the 15 going to Fordham and the 149th Street and all that. So it brings back memories. But like I said, I never rode this actual particular bus because this is the updated version that came out after I left New York City. But I say it's pretty good because I've seen pictures of it many times. And I mean, as usual, they... They killed it, knocked it out the park. So this is my little, uh, I wouldn't even say a review, but we get to look around this new um, bus. I'm not sure if it's still on the website available, but as usual, you can go on eBay and other vendors and check it out and see what prices they got. Hope you liked this uh, video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Catch you next time.